everybody, welcome once again to my welcome back once again to my channel. Today I will be showing you or reviewing the results of the WWE Royal Rumble 2019. Before we get started, can I just say how I feel like this year's Royal Rumble was kind of a letdown? Um out of all the Royal Rumbles, I feel like this might have been the worst out of all of them, in my own opinion. Other people think maybe this was the best, but for me, I didn't like it. So, starting off on the pre-show, we had this weird match of the Glorious Ones up against one half of the Revival and one half of ALP Rizar. I do not have a Rizar figure, so um, I can't really show you guys it, but I don't know why they had them teaming up. Maybe Dash Wilder or Acom were like unable to make it or something, but uh, yeah. So they fought, and the Glorious Ones did win the match. After that, on the pre, still on the pre-show, we had Rusev against Shinsuke Nakamura for the United States Championship, and oh, poor Lana, I feel really bad for what happened to Lana. So Lana was there ringside supporting her husband Rusev, and then Rusev was like, I think, knocked out, and um, Shinsuke was like taking the protector off of one of the like turnbuckles. Lana gets up on the air, but she's like, you're cheating, you're cheating. And Shinsuke is like just staring at her. And then Rusev comes charging. Shinsuke moves out of the way and he knocks down Lana. Straight up, like, she just get bulldozed off the way off of the apron onto the floor. Rusev is on his knees saying, Lana, get up, Lana. And then, um... King Joshua to the back of the neck, one, two, three, and Shinsuke is your United States champion once again. Um, I also, there was also a match that I completely forgot about, which was the Cruiserweight title uh, match. It was Buddy Murphy against um, uh, was Akira Tozawa, Kalisto, and I forgot the other one's name, but yeah, so it was for the Cruiserweight championship, and Buddy Murphy did retain. Because he's the champion. And then, I'm pretty sure there's all the matches. And now to the actual pay-per-view. First match, um, we had Asuka against um, Becky Lynch for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And Becky Lynch did end up tapping out to Asuka. I'm super happy about that because a lot of people like how Becky Lynch been the man so far. And I just absolutely hate it. I want her to go back to like being how she was. And I just absolutely, I used to be a very big fan. But Becky Lynch, if you're watching this, um, very, very clearly you're not because this video is not that popular. But Becky Lynch, if you're watching this, you lost me as a fan. So, yeah, but did Asuka did retain. After that, I forgot the complete order of how these matches went, so I'm just going to get this one match next. We had The Bar versus Shane McMahon and The Miz, and she, uh, The Miz's dad was there in the um, fans, like, they're watching. And they go up to him, they're like, hey, 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 all that. And this match was actually pretty decent. Miz and Shane McMahon worked very well together. So what had happened was, I don't remember if Shane Miz actually did succeed, but I'm pretty sure Shane Miz was going for the bro kick. I don't know if he was able to, like, kick him or not, but um, he was going for the bro kick. And then the Miz comes up, school crushing finale. Shane McMahon pins Cesaro, one, two, three, and you have your brand new SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Miz and Jamie Man, and I'm super happy about that. Um, let's see. Up next, we got uh, Ronda Rousey against Sasha Banks, and this match, it wasn't looking too good for Ronda Rousey, besides from her um, Survivor Series match against Charlotte Flair. She was actually looking like she was going to lose, and... Um, but she didn't. She did end up retaining her Raw Women's Championship. And after the match, um, when S Sasha was leaving, she actually, Ronda showed us so much respect for her after that match. But as Sasha was leaving, she turns around, comes back, and just gives her the four fingers up, which I'm pretty sure meant the four horsewomen. A lot of people are begging to see that dream match. And um, I don't know if it's going to happen. But yeah, uh, Ronda did retain her Raw Women's Championship. After that, we did have the uh, 
women's Royal Rumble match. It it was actually very decent. We had a lot of people show up. The final three competitors were so this is what happened. As I mentioned in earlier that night, Lana did get big time injured and she was going to compete in the Royal Rumble. Her music actually hit. She started walking out, but she was limping big time. She couldn't even make it to the ring. And and I felt really, really bad for that. Lana, she's one of the best female athletes of today. And I felt really bad that she deserves this opportunity to to go to WrestleMania. But she didn't. After that, like, um, it was um Nia Jax, so like she was number twenty eight and she just stayed there with some officials and people. And then the rest of the the final two came out, Nia Jax and Carmella. After that, a little bit later, Becky Lynch comes out and she's like, let me replace her. I'll replace her. And then in the end, they let her in and she won the Royal Rumble match. And guys, I am done. I am big time done. I am, I've had enough with what, with what Becky Lynch has been doing. I don't want to get too upset because I wanted this video to still be like friendly, but it's pushed me to the limit. She does not deserve this. I hate her now as a heel. I swear, like, I just can't handle what she's been doing. Besides from Daniel Bryan, I hate her right now. I want her to stop. Go back to how she was. I just can't handle it anymore. So, yeah, after that, we did have two matches left. We had Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles for the WWE Champions. And actually, something did happen. So, it will look like the final moments. Um, Daniel Bryan won for the Pele kick. Um, AJ dodged it. And he accidentally hit the uh, um, official. The official was knocked out. Then, at a, he was ringside because he showed up. Um, wait, but before that... Um, after the referee got knocked out, Styles did do the Styles clash to Daniel Bryan. But then, Eric Rowan comes up and straight up choke slams AJ. Daniel Bryan pins him. One, two, three. Daniel Bryan is still. And I feel, I don't know about you guys, but I'm seeing a little bit of a Wyatt family reunion. And then, the, the well, final match besides the um, Royal Rumble um was Brock Lesnar versus not the demon just ordinary Finn Balor Finn Balor he gave it his all he was it, it was actually one of the best matches out of the night but in the end Brock Lesnar um did retain in a submission where I forgot what it was called but then after the match he went he went to Suplex City and gave him an F5 and I'm like what the heck give him a break but so uh, yes, so Brock Lesnar did retain his universal title. And then the final match of the night, and guys, I didn't really like how this play, how the finals ended. In the end, after none of the um uh, surprise entries that they've been talking about, none of them showed up. No Batista, no Rock, no Bray Wyatt, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, um, um. Barely any of them, no Kenny Omega, none of them showed up. And I'm like, oh, whatever, let's just continue. But number 30, you all know that it was going to be R Truth. Now, R Truth is there singing his little song that he always does, which I kind of enjoy. But then, Anaya Jax straight up beats him to a pole. And then, like, not with a pole, like, beats him so bad that he couldn't even stand back up. And she is entering number 30 in the men's. She straight up eliminates Mustafa Ali. I was not having it. No. No. But in the end, they hear uh, um, Dolph Ziggler hit a super hit, um, 619, RKO, and she was out of there. And then, after all, all that, Braun Strowman, Andrade Cien Elmas, Dolph Ziggler, and Seth Rollins for the final four. Andrade gets eliminated, Dolph gets eliminated, and on the apron, they're both had men had been out of the ring. Um, um, Braun Strowman's on the knees. <laughs> Seth Rollins hits the stomp on the apron. Braun Strowman's eliminated, and Seth Rollins won the 2019 Royal Rumble match. I'm super happy about that. So yeah, a couple matches. I'm okay, but for the overview of the whole Royal Rumble, for me it was kind of disappointing. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like. Please 
Tell me in the comments below what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and Nerf videos. And if you do subscribe, please ring the bell for notifications. And so then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video. So yeah, thank you for watching. And until next time, goodbye.